Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Waiter said racist patron stiffed him on bill with nasty note. Gets bad news soon after. This is a clear example of why people don't trust each other anymore. Fox News is reporting that a waiter from the great state of Texas has gotten himself into a heap of trouble for allegedly claiming that a patron stiffed him out of his tip because of racism. And even went as far as to accuse the patron of writing, we don't tip terrorists on their bill, according to various reports. But on Monday Saltgrass Steakhouse COO Terry Turney stated to a local area paper that upon further investigation, they had learned that their employee fabricated the entire story. The waiter, who is a 20-year-old black man by the name of Khalil Cavill had allegedly falsely claimed the patron stiffed him on a $108 meal and instead wrote the hateful message on the check. Here is more on this file online. The Odessa waiter whose story about being called a terrorist by a customer spurred national attention last week now admits it was all a hoax. The waiter, Khalil Cavill, 20, admitted he wrote the racist note himself in a Monday interview with the Odessa American, where he apologized to a reporter because I did lie to you. I did write it, Cavill said, refusing to explain why. I don't have an explanation. I made a mistake. There is no excuse for what I did. Cavill's call followed a press release from Saltgrass Steakhouse revealing the hoax. Cavill had lied about receiving the note calling him a terrorist while working at the restaurant on July 14. Terry Turney, COO of Saltgrass, issued this, after further investigation, we have learned that our employee fabricated the entire story. The customer has been contacted and invited back to our restaurant to dine on us. Racism of any form is intolerable, and we will always act swiftly should it occur in any of our establishments. Falsely accusing someone of racism is equaling disturbing. Cavill claimed he was left no tip and that we don't tip terrorist was written on the receipt. Cavill had said he hoped the post would spur a conversation about this hatred that is still going on, that is still here and prevalent. I just wanted people to understand that. It did. Many on Facebook were offering money to Cavill who said he was working to attend college in Dallas this fall. Cavill said donations totaled about $1,000. All money is being processed and being returned, Cavill said. Most all of it has been returned. Cavill is no longer employed at Saltgrass, officials said declining to say how they found out the story was not true. Cavill said he admitted the lie to Saltgrass officials Sunday, what he called the first step into making it right. He said he did not know the customer who he accused of racism, who he did not identify publicly. But the restaurant, which had initially backed Cavill, had announced banning the customer before the hoax was revealed. I'm sorry. I deeply made a huge, big mistake. And I'm in the process of getting the help that I need," Cavill said. Turney later added that the customer who was allegedly falsely targeted by the waiter was quickly contacted and invited back to the restaurant to dine on the house and restaurant officials confirmed that the alleged liar no longer works at the restaurant. But they stopped short of revealing how they determined this whole ordeal was indeed a hoax. But perhaps what makes this whole episode even sicker is that Cavill allegedly had previously claimed on social media that he was inspired by Martin Luther King to share the receipt on Facebook. This isn't the first time something like this has gone viral as reported by NBC New York. After a gay server at a New Jersey restaurant said a customer denied her a tip and wrote her a hateful note on the receipt, a local family contacted NBC4 New York and said their receipt shows they paid a tip and didn't write any such note. Dana Morales, a former Marine and a server at Gallopation Bistro in Bridgewater, posted a photo on Facebook earlier this month, showing a bill with a line through the space for a tip. The photo of the receipt showed someone had written, I'm sorry but I cannot tip because I do not agree with your lifestyle. Morales indicated in her Facebook post, and in subsequent media interviews, including with NBC4 New York, that the customer wrote that line. But a family contacted NBC4 New York claiming their receipt from the restaurant shows they did leave a tip, and provided what they said was a credit card statement as proof. Compare receipts from the New Jersey restaurant Compare receipts from the New Jersey restaurant The husband and wife, who asked to remain anonymous, showed NBC4 New York a receipt that appeared to be printed at the same minute, on the same date, for the same $93.55 total, except with an $18 tip. They also provided a document they said was a visa bill, which appears to indicate their card was charged for the meal plus the tip, for a total of $111.55. The couple told NBC4 New York that they believed their receipt was used for a hoax. The wife says she is left-handed and could not have made the slash in the tip line, which she said looks to be drawn from the right. 
The husband said he and his wife have both worked in restaurants and believe in the value of tipping, and noted that he didn't vote for Governor Chris Christie because the governor doesn't support gay marriage. Never would a message like that come from us, he said. Hate to see people lose their livelihoods over something like this. But what these people are being accused of doing is dangerous and there is no place for it in today's society. We have enough issues as it is to be making up new ones, don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.